Hello and welcome to the Scale Modeling Cafe. My name is Jamie and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I thought I'd give it a go. Why not? Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, Jamie Hago. I've been making models for well a very long time. I wouldn't want to put a number on it, but since I was a boy, um, did the usual thing of um, got into my sort of mid to late teens um, and uh, other distractions came along. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely no modelling at university. And after university, ended up joining the Royal Navy and the Fleet Air Arm. And uh, after a little while, during the flying training, I was a little bit bored in the mess on an evenings. So I decided to get back to it. Um, broke out the airbrush, bought some, bought some cans, and, uh, and started modelling again. I never really looked back. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just coming to the end of a, of a COVID infection. Um, so, yeah, why YouTube? Well, uh, talking of COVID, I actually started a new job abroad right at the start of the COVID pandemic. Um, obviously, no one knew what was, what was going to happen. But um, pretty much just after I landed, all the borders shut. And that was it. I was stuck. Now, my plan was uh, I was due to go home on leave after the first six weeks and then bring a whole load of modelling kit back with me. And over sort of two or three journeys, bring enough back that I could start modelling again. Obviously that didn't happen, and I had an effective um, enforced absence for the hobby for about 18 months. So I uh, had to get my modelling fixed somehow, and that was primarily YouTube. Uh, I, uh, I was downloading um, uh, traditional magazines and getting them um, um, electronically, but uh, but it was really the YouTube um, YouTube stuff that that kept me going, and I, I I've I've watched all sorts of different types of scale modelling channel, and since I've been back modelling the last say six months, um, when I have managed to get home and, and and bring a load of kit back, I thought it might be quite good fun to have a go. So here we are. Now, um, I'm, I'm definitely not going to try and um, copy anybody, but I will be sort of taking inspiration from sort of here and there and everywhere. Why not? Uh, and uh, what I aim to do with the channel is a kind of a mix of, mix of style of content. Um, I definitely want to do some modeling videos of, of actual product, uh, products, projects, sorry. So um, the way the sort of format of that will take is um, I, my passion is painting and weathering. That's what I really, really enjoy. To be honest, with construction I find a bit of a chore. Um, but I'll you know break it down into into sort of chunks uh, and, and a few videos. So I'll probably start off with one on maybe the painting and weathering up the cockpits. Um, I will do one on the construction, but um, mercifully short, hopefully. I tend to concentrate on kits that go together very well, modern, state-of-the-art, well-fitting, well-engineered kits. I don't like too much of a challenge, if I'm honest, um, because I want to get to the painting and weathering stage as effectively as quick as I can, because that is my passion. So um, that's going to be the focus of the videos. Is, is how I do my painting and weathering, because that's what I enjoy. So, you know, why, why not? Um, also though, when we were all in lockdown, I did start doing some live Facebook videos, which I'm still doing now, and I really enjoy those. Conversational pieces, um, I'll talk about my current project, what's on the, on the bench, I'll do um, just my sort of thoughts and opinions on any of the new releases that come out. Um, maybe talk about some of the some of the models that, that are sort of getting towards the top of the um, top of the in tray. Um, and I don't really want to call them reviews because I, for me, a review is uh, a modder at the end of a review should know exactly all all about the kit, how it. The detail, the accuracy, um, how well it fits, what's the engineering like, and, and what was the overall process. I, I don't really want to do that. 
um, on those videos. It, it will just generally be a, um, a conversational piece just about the project, project and any of the aftermarket bits and pieces that I may use um, and, and how I'm thinking of going about it and then what I'm aiming to achieve, that kind of thing. Now, whether I, um, whether I keep up the live stuff on Facebook, um, whether I bring it over to YouTube, whether I do both, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be fairly sort of relaxed about the whole sort of thing because at the end of the day, it's a new part of my hobby and a hobby should be relaxing and enjoyable and I don't wanna bog myself down with deadlines and an actual and a regular schedule or anything like that. Um, I do want to. I do want to sort of um, put stuff out there on, on a fairly regular basis, but I'm not going to hold myself to a timetable. Um, I, I, I need to keep the enjoyment going because it, it, it's it's a hobby for me, um, uh, 100%. So there we go. Um, so that's a little bit of um, about the sort of aims of the channel and what what I hope to do. <clears throat> but what about a little bit about me as a modeler. So um, I'm pretty much exclusively now a, an aircraft modeler, always have been. I did go through an armour phase um, a few years ago, seven or eight years ago, maybe, maybe even ten, don't know, um, when um, I saw Mig Jimenez's DVDs when they came out and I found them so educational and inspiring and I really wanted to have a go. So that's exactly what I did. Um, bought some armour kits slavishly followed step by step exactly what MIG was doing. Um, the first ones, frankly, weren't particularly very good. But soon I had a kind of handle on, um, on what I was trying to achieve with the techniques and with the products that, um, that, that were in the videos. And, uh, and, and I really enjoyed it. But my passion's always been aeroplanes. So what I did eventually was, was take all that new knowledge that I learned and then I applied them to my aeroplane models uh, and adapted them for, for aeroplanes um, and maybe we'll we'll talk about that in a future video but in, that really was a kind of a step up I think um, in my modeling. Um, I, I have no preferred scale to be honest I do love 70 second scale I think some of the detail that you can pack into one of those um, one of those models is um, these days is mind-blowing some of the new stuff that's coming out um, a lot of Eastern Europe, um, you know, armor hobby, the, the P-51, the, the Wildcats, um, some of the Edward stuff. This, I still think that Edward Spitfire and 72nd is one of the, the best kits ever made. Um, just purely on the, on the detail, the, the sort of riveting and, and stuff is just beautiful. Um, but also, you, could, you can build some bigger aeroplanes that are manageable in 72nd scale. And um, I'll be bringing a few of those to the channel. I also love 48 scale, primarily single engine fighters and, uh, and jets. In fact, I should just touch on that briefly, shouldn't I? So yes, I do, I do like my single engine fighters from the Second World War. Um, I do really like um, old Cold War Soviet and, and Russian stuff. I, uh, uh, and I do like World War II bombers as well. Anything really that can give me um, an excuse to do a heavy weathering job. Um, I do like 30 second scale stuff as well and I, and I do have a few 30 second scale models in the stash. Now, building a 30 second scale model, certainly a, a bigger model um, out here, um, might be a bit tricky because at the end of the day, I've got to get it back to the UK on the aeroplane. So we'll see how that goes. Um, there's two um, that I'm really very, very keen on doing at some stage in the not too distant future, and that is the Trumpeter F100 and the Sukhoi 25, both in, in 30 second scale. So um, I really want to do those, but um, it's gonna be a matter of logistics. Um, and I've got a few other bits and pieces in 30 second um, that I also want to do. Um, smaller stuff. Um, one of them is a Haskell P40, really want to do that. So um, yeah, I'll be I'll be doing all of the sort of three main scales. 
24 scale doesn't really float my boat to be, if I'm brutally honest, nor does 144. Um, so I'm, yeah, it, 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 it you know, d doesn't hold much interest for me. But if I see a particular model and it really kind of strikes a chord, then, then never say never. The other, the other thing I like to do is, uh, and this is a bit out there, is I like to do what ifs and post-apocalyptic models, aircraft. The what ifs, I like to do sort of credible what ifs, not a TSR2 in desert pink with every wing sidewinders, um, but uh, I mean, for example, some of the things I've done in the past, um, a 56 Squadron F-104, um, from the RAF, things things like that, which I think are quite good fun. I've also done the um, Airfix Buccaneer in 72nd scale in A6 Intruder markings, US Navy. Um, things that you could imagine might possibly be true. Things that are most definitely not true is the post-apocalyptic stuff, at least, let's hope so. And I, some just, Every now and again, randomly out of the blue, a little, a little nugget of inspiration goes off, a little big bang, if you like, in my head. It might be a particular kit, a model, um, or, or something I've seen that really kind of sparks that sort of flash of inspiration. And I've done all sorts of sort of weird and wonderful type, type things because you have total creative freedom. And I tend to throw everything at it, all sorts of random bits and bobs. And one of those will be coming to the channel. Um, uh, and maybe in the not too distant future as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, I've had this idea in my brain for a few months now. Um, I've got the kit, it's sat down there with all the bits and pieces. Those who've been onto the Facebook channel um, would have heard me mention it and well, actually would have seen the kit and all the accessories uh, and all the bits and bobs that are gonna go with that. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, I've also got another couple of what ifs, one of them sat right here. So, uh, um, and this is gonna be the, the next model on the bench. I'm actually in between projects at the moment. Um, and that's gonna be a what if. So uh, I'll tell you all about that in, in, I think it's gonna be the next video in fact. So there we go, that's me. Um, thank you very much for listening and, and tuning in. It's, I know it's a cliche, but um, uh, a thumbs up and a like would be great because um, by all accounts it does sort of get into the algorithms and pushes the video out there in, in your feed so um, that would be fantastic. Some feedback in the comments below would also be very welcome. Um, so yeah please get, get involved with that, Let, let's try and make it interactive and um, if you have any suggestions or good ideas or even stuff you didn't like um, that you think could be improved. Um, I'd love to. I'd love to hear your thoughts. That that would be fantastic. Um, and the other YouTube cliche is um, is ring the bell um, and subscribe. And um, yeah, help me to sort of I can know what's working and what's not, and 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 you get notification of the videos as they go up, which will be great. So there we are. That's that's me. Um, I've been uh, Jamie. This is the Scale Modeling Cafe. Um, I'm just going to take a brief swig, seeing it is a cafe. That's Wittard's um, lemon and ginger tea. They're not a sponsor of the channel. Um, but uh, I'm British, so I like my tea. There we go. So thank you very much, everybody. Um, stay tuned. Give me your comments. I'd love to hear some feedback, um, good and bad. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.